While numbers 25 probably should carry a PG rating, if you take away the sexuality, the chapter is really more about Satan's persistency to tempt us. In the previous chapter, the king of the Moabites, frightened by the size and the potential power of the Hebrew people, enlist a backslidden prophet to curse them. You may remember the story. God uses him to bless his people instead. But our enemy never gives up. Listen to what happens here, beginning with verse 1. While the Israelites were camped at Acacia Grove, some of the men defiled themselves by having sexual relations with the local Moabite women. These women invited them to attend sacrifices to their gods, so the Israelites feasted with them and worshipped the gods of Moab. We're told this caused God's anger to burn against his people. God protects his people from a false prophet, so the enemy comes in a more alluring, more seductive way. And very quickly, Israel is worshiping false gods. And here's the thing, the same thing can happen to you or I. It's a reminder from God's word that not only do we have a very real, very powerful enemy, but that he's also super resourceful. He's cunningly deceptive and will stop at nothing to rip us off. That's what he lives for. I want to encourage you to read the story for yourself, but here's the good news. A champion rises up from the Israelite camp and through his zeal, God is appeased and the plague that killed thousands is stopped. So here's my challenge for you today. Be that champion. Let you and I be zealous for the Lord and for his people. One person can make a difference. Read Numbers 25 and you'll see for yourself. Let you and I be a champion today for the Lord our God.